today I'd like to introduce you and teach you one of my or one of what used to be my favorite things that's ego ego or simply you may call it go 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 it's a Japanese one of Japanese traditional board games and you use this table or wooden plate yeah, this is not expensive or high grade version. This was about I don't remember about like two thousand yen or something. But yeah, you need this board and this these kinds of stones, which is called goishi. So yeah, I used to play go often, and I, and once I was a really good player, like Shodan. Or around that, around there. But now I'm I'm not as good as I used to be. But yeah, these are ishi, goishi, stones basically, black stone, white stone. Yeah, and th these goishis were expensive. I had my grandfather buy it. It was about I think at least twenty thousand yen. Yeah, I remember. But I feel sorry for him because I don't use I don't use him so often now but yeah this particular goishi is made of a sea shell which is called hamaguri so that's why this is very expensive hamaguri you see the layers of the sea shell cheaper ones are made of glass this is uh, I think stone some kind of black stone not glass let me just explain the basic things even if you know of them know them so so ego is a game that is played by two people I mean with one board yeah so you have either black stone or white stone definitely and other one sits there so yeah like like this and this is cover and you you use it but today I'm I'm in I'm teaching you how to play so it's so basic rules so this board is a has a line of 19 by 19 this is a this is the official board the official I mean official kind you also have 9 by 9 by 9 and 13 by 13 for beginners so 9x9 nine nine is so small yeah it's okay on the board uh, by the way this board is called Goban not number 5 on the board there is there are dots and here 9 dots on the board here here and at the center here 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 so so th this dot is four so you okay basically you put stone when when two lines are crossed so not in the box so this is four and four point this is ten from the size and four yeah as you see and this is the center ten lines from the size each side yeah, it's kind of indicator of on where you put stone. You might not be able to see the whole board in this video, but it doesn't. It's not necessary. Anyway, let me just explain some things. So how you play this game? So basically, you your aim is to to get more territory than the opponent. So what territory means is any space that is surrounded by the stone. Okay, so that is not called territory, but we call it ji. So this is ji. The name of this game, ego, literally means surrounded stone. I think ego, sur surrounded something. So. This is your G. 
and the bigger your ji is than the other others ji, you win. So to make ji, you don't you basically need only four in middle of the board, or in fact you only need at least two if you make ji at the edge. So this is the uh, smallest G you can make and with a uh, little the smallest number of stones go ishi so one this e this G is one counted one so this G is counted three one two three okay so you try to make a wider larger G than the opponent that's basically the rule and yeah so you play you put a stone in turn pam, 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 pam. so here's an example of how to start how to play so and you have a spe oh, this is uh, some injury <laughs> you have special not really technique but special way to hold ishi so it's like this you don't need to do this, you can just put from from goke. This is goke. You can you can basically take pick one and put it anywhere you want. Not really anywhere but but this that's not how professional player or expert players, skilled player do. This is how you do it basically. When you're used to it. So pick one and uh, Somehow you do it, yeah, kind of spin it, turn it, and yeah, that's cool, huh? This sound, I like it. Yeah, that, that's it. But you don't need to uh, learn how to do that. You, you, you get used to it. Okay, so, also, another rule. I'm sorry I'm messing up the rules but uh, okay here's Ishi okay you can take this stone if you surround this stone white stone by in this case by four black stone for your stone now it's yours and you will you put this stone into your uh, I don't know the name for this but uh, into this and this is yours and you use it later you can't you can't use this as the opponent's stone and put it wherever you want but you keep it at for the end of the game then you took the stone okay that's basically how do you how you uh, how you take the stone and if this stone is at the edge you need at least three just like to make G and now it's gone at the corner just as just same as to make G now it's gone you can take it so it doesn't matter how much how many stones there are so if they are okay let's say random form but okay there are five stones and you basically need surround every crossing line to take it now it's gone those stones see you don't need to put stones on those lines here, 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 here. You don't need. So this is the minimum stone that you need to take those white stones. Okay, that's how you do it. So, and uh, when there there can be a situation like 
like this not not beautifully beautifully like this but and when it's it's white turn white person white player can take this black stone but now it's your turn you cannot do the same thing instead you need to if you want to take this you need to put on somewhere and the partner the opponent put and now it's your turn you can take it. so you can't just do take it take it take it in turn you need one cushion that's 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 uh, that's one of the rules that you need to remember so here are okay and uh, you have stone that is alive or dead for the stone to be alive you need me what's called me or space at least two two spaces you need so two as an example okay these spaces are what's called me this stone is alive because it this stone has two me you need at least two me two spaces separates two spaces this no this is not alive this is dead so to make it clearer let's surround this black stone I'm sorry I I I, I maybe could do this explanation much quicker but I'm lazy and so <laughs> yeah and even if it's shiro white turn you can't I didn't explain this but you can't put you can't put your stone into the opponent's territory where it's a form that your your stone must be taken so you can't do that so this form because you can't put shiro stone into uh, both of them you can't take this black 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 white or black uh, stone so this black stone is alive but if this me me is not separate but like this you can put this stone and uh, well this black says no I don't want to be taken away and you take this white stone but now it's your turn and you can take this black stone away so as I just showed you in cases where you can take the opponent stone you can put your stone into the places that is a form that your stone can be taken but this is an exception but after all this your stone will be taken the so when there is a situation like that and you want to make this stone alive you need to put your own stone into this place before the opponents put this, the stone into this place when that happens this stones are dead so okay so I think I've expla explained everything hopefully yeah I, I hope I did you can you can look up Wikipedia if you want to check the rule and those taken stones are called Hama Hama and those go into this place so from now on I'd like to show you an example game that I did some days ago with computer on my iPhone the game so it, uh, it will take time to show you and explain why I put stones on that places I, 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 I put so anyway but you can you can skip to the last of this video because the at the end of this video I will 
I will explain how to how to finish the game. Okay, this is a, a finished form of the game. I did. I had white stones. I won. So as you see, this place is blacks G, and this place also. This place also, and this part too. And other than that, all is my G. This and this all black stone is dead because you see it has only one eye, one me. This these two stones are dead. But even though these are dead, this black stone, this whole black stone inside this white stones has only one me only one eye me so it's dead so I that means I took all these stones so my territory is all this territory so as you can see I got this whole territory so yeah I won so let's see how I played this game I had white so I thought regarding your skill or your level of ego you can you can have a you can ask for handicap for the opponents so the lower level person have black basically basically so let's say you have black no let's say this is computer and this is mine me and when you have when you want to have a handicap I mean when you want to make the opponents have handicap you can put at least one stone I, I forgot where one stone case is but up to nine stones you can you can ask for handy handicap or anything you call it but this is the maximum case officially maximum case yeah maximum case of handicap handicap or whatever you call it so my stone is white so yeah as you see you have great advantage even at the beginning of the of the game so yeah so I start something like that and you start something like that as you see you have great advantage so that's handicap but now let's not put anything so there are some fixed forms but I forgot most of them so I can't really explain and I will try to explain why I put stones there and there okay let's resume the game so as I said I had shiro stone I didn't need to change the order so let's begin so black is the opponent computer the, this computer first put here and remember I forgot to tell you but once you put a stone you cannot move it officially unless the opponent says it's okay so we do it and uh, yeah here this is, an, this is an example of how you usually uh, okay and I did here so this is a usual continue of how you do do it oh. sorry <sighs> yeah it's a really usual moving although I'm not so professional I, I, I did there my ways might be strange but this this thing it's only an example so some of some of the things I did might be really strange for experts but experts professional veteran or whatever but I did it anyway. 
Yeah, please understand. I used to be a good player before. Uh, I need to explain things. Well, those are uh, from there. He was kind of usual follow flow. Yeah, usual flow. Things went on very naturally. I put here, black put here. It's kind of making some atmosphere of making G around here. And this black, these black uh, white stones kind of escaping and making way up was and they also surrounding trying to surround this stone and it went up here and kind of escaping and I yeah to go up and to shut this black this black stones going to center now there he goes and I yeah the black comes here and I remember I that yeah I did that the black comes there and let me explain what happens if you do that if I did that maybe black would cut cut my stone being cut is uh, troublesome I don't like it and black comes there I kind of protected my territory and black came here to kind of make this territory around here around there and I went up to here because I wanted to make my territory around there so this big possible territory and black comes in I stopped but black cuts it oh no I don't like it and I thought what should I do I was thinking this way or this way this way means you let this, these stones taken be taken by black by yeah that so I didn't I wouldn't like it so I did that and of course not of course but black comes here even though I thought black would come here and now uh, of course I took it because if I let it if I had let it next time next what next he would do what is that I thought so definitely I took it that's mine you you need it as you said as I said and now blood comes there I ignored it but instead I put there blood comes here As I said, some of I call it te te each each the, those putting stone on is called te te like this te. So some of the te I did I made might look very stupid, very silly for veteran but what the hell I'm not veteran anyway I'm kind of a re starting player so I connected I connected these stones because it's weak I wouldn't like it if for example black do does like this and I need to connect it Black comes here. I can cut it because I cut it. It's taken, so I didn't do it. 
but but anyway, I connected connected it, and yeah, black kind of protected itself. I made it harder my disconnection. Black comes here, troublesome place. I protect it. Black comes here to kind of connect these stones together. And I didn't like it, so I would want I wanted to shut off those stones. But before that I kind of wanted to do pre-serve, preserve, is that correct word? Preserved te. So, yeah. And so I made those, those connections weak beforehand. And black comes here. Well, I didn't expect it, but comes didn't come yeah of course and I took it blood comes here I okay now here's becoming a connection between those white stone black kuro kuro try to cut it I pro prevent prevent it at this time I didn't still have intention to take these stones yet came here I took it somehow for what reason I don't remember but I took it anyway black comes there I ignored it I think yeah but instead yeah this looked better Yeah, I, I, I put put it here because I didn't want black to come here because I, I couldn't stop it because there's less connection. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad. So I stopped it. Black comes in here to bother me. Oh no, no. Ego! So I wanted to make this atmosphere my territory so I, I protected it black comes here no yes I, I I I did a challenge try yeah oh kind of succeeded my intention I ignored it. Uh, do it as I like. Black comes here. I ignored it. Cut it. Uh, I give it to you. Thank you. I take it. Don't let me go. No, I take it. And black. Oh, oh black comes there. And I realized or well, I hoped that I could take all those black stones and make this whole area into my territory so I intended I attempt to cut those this potential connection so here I moved so first step I did was that Kuro said no I did it. Please. No. Black 
game. I thought Black would come here somewhere, but he came this place. But I was thinking that even if okay, if I succeeded to shut this black stones and these black stones if I if I succeed to shut them off I th I believe they this black would make me would make it alive because I would kill it anyway so yeah I was kind of gener generally generously generously <laughs> touching away apart Basically, putting stones really close to each other is not really good if you want to avoid fighting. So, and I thought also I could make this territory to mine anyway, even if I couldn't kill this black stone. And yeah, and here we, he goes. So, I went when I wanted to shut this connection. So what I did, yeah, shut it. But Kuro came there. If he were, I were him, I would do this. But yeah, it's not stable anyway. Yeah, of course I cut the connection. Now it's completely cut. Kuro must have been thinking what he should do although he is not really any person but he is computer yeah but still these white stones are not really alive because these weak connection so if could have put somewhere like here I thought, yeah, this it, it doesn't have strong connection. So to to make it strong, I put stone here. So yeah, it's strong. Maybe you, you don't really see the point, but you will you will know it as you use as you get used to it. Uh, I I didn't understand that there. Yes, yes, there I was okay coming into these black stones to to kill kill them so from then on my killing is starts Kuro tries to escape to this direction but I said no you can't do that yeah I helped this. So, this te is, I think, he black tried to make an eye in here, but this is not yet a complete eye because his these points are not connected yet. So, if I put my stones here and here, and when there's no space around there, it's not really meh. Because you need to Kuro need to put Kuro stone in here in order not to take it away. Taken. So my attempt in this situation was not not let Kuro make two eyes. So I was definitely killing, trying to kill this stone. But on the other hand, of course, Kuro wants to make two eyes. I like to kill. It's mine. Yeah. By putting white stone here, I killed I uh, I took the chance 
that Kuro may can Kuro can make two eyes because if Kuro could put a stone there, then it has two eyes because for that situation, if I put here, you can he can put that and I do that and now it's two eyes complete two eyes. That's not good. So I did that. Now it's Kurotan. Yeah. Try to make I, but I refused. No, you can't do that. But at this moment, Black had one eye. This is complete I. This. And now, for me, it seemed Kuro gave up and moves to here to make this area his territory because for that situation, this place is not neither of us territory. This is not really black territory. This is not really my territory. But I ignored it because I took I thought I took it. I took it in fact later but yeah, I thought I could took it. But later on he would also he would still continue to try to make it alive. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I thought this is bigger. The call comes in here. I stopped it. And he doesn't do anything about it. Okay, you can take it, please. He didn't take it, but now he again comes back to here. I I didn't believe I couldn't believe it, but but now I thought oh my god now it's alive but one attempt to let it escape now it's definitely taken but I didn't allow black to make two eyes here okay Kuro protected so now here's one eye one eye but for this whole block is not enough yet because this was not completely an eye yet by putting a stone there if Kuro had done had put a stone here here or here it's completely alive though I didn't let let it Anyway, why it's not complete eye? Because to make this place complete eye, you need two te, one here and one here. Now it's complete, but without those, even only one with here is not an eye. Because if I put white stones here you need to protect it you don't need to protect it but it's not I the point is that or even if you black put here I would still put in here and unless this black makes one eye with those around here is this is complete this is not a complete eye because you know if there's no space, you need to put black here anyway. So, by this te, this lost his eye. Now it's a uh, trouble. Yeah, this tried they tried to make one more eye, but I didn't let it anyway. So it was easy. It was pretty easy to chase this black stone down 
because I didn't really need to protect my territory because I believed this wouldn't leave because it's really hard to make an eye around in, around here in my territory all surrounded by white stones so I didn't really need to get closer to black stone but take some distance but only only thing I needed I needed to do is not let black have one eye this is not this oh this was something yeah I'd like to teach you how to play eagle if any of you are interested in it. Yeah, this place is potentially an eye, but yeah, it's not still a complete eye. Potential eye, but not not potentially for me. I shut off any potential connection. I first thought this was nothing because take uh, this stone taken it means nothing but ah <laughs> yeah I realized he was trying to take yeah these stones maybe or at least anyway this these stones that's a big deal so I didn't want to let it taken away I know it's long, long way. But if you're still watching this from from the beginning of this video, you are great. You're a great patient. With the camera in front of me, it's really hard to do this. By that time, I was sure that these stones were dead. And so, at this time of um, coming toward the end of the game, what you do is to make your territory stable or or certain, or try to try to make your territory larger by a little, which is called yose. So when you are doing yose, you need to think which te is better than another. So how many ji you can you can gain, you need to think. He came here. Oh no. What's that? He connected. And I thought there should be something, but there wasn't. There, there couldn't be if black was strong enough. But there were. There turned to be some. There anyway. So I felt there's something. So I put a stone there. And black comes in. I cut it, of course. Black comes there. Now, there should be something, or even if there is not something. Okay, here's the situation. What I want you to do is take these three stones, these three stones. But if I simply do that, Kuro simply connect both, and it's safe. But in fact, there shouldn't be any te, but I tricked him by doing that. Oh, he didn't do anything about it. But yeah, I still have some.
Damn Oh no, I won't let you. There he goes there. So, here's something. I felt. I kept it. Yeah, I did it. So, it's a uh, I can't really explain ego with English because many words are in Japanese and I can't I can't really make those words into English to make to make sense. But I did it. Did that and I took it. Okay, here we go. That means I'm gonna take these black stones. Please, you can take it. Oops, this is a big deal. I won't let you do that. Now, black comes there. But this was basically nothing. No. Now, I put here. See the point. Somehow, yeah, I, I, I did it. You know. Let's take it. But Kuro couldn't simply. Wow, he did it. And now it's what is called Ko. So it's leech. Oh my god, with one te, that's gone. Kuro was. Kuro didn't like it. So, this is a case whether Kuro is alive or Kuro is dead by losing this. That. Ko. This part is ko. This is what I explained. You can't put it back and forth. In one turn. So next time I need to put someone else to try to pull his attention. But to me that was not, not a big deal because even if I couldn't take those stones, that place had anyway been his territory. But I wanted to take that if I could. So it was a situation that I had an advantage because my losing wouldn't mean so much as it would to black. So, what this meant was you can protect it, protect it, I mean, you can take these white stones so that you will be alive, this will be alive. But if you take that, I will go in here and take those. Not really. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I could take those. But Kuro didn't say yes. Okay, you can take it. But Kuro did that. So, okay, I said, if you say so. 
By the way, I didn't fight just like some seconds ago. It was just uh, flipping my my foot. I didn't fight. I didn't fight. Kuro comes there. What was that point? I thought. Then I took it. That was not a good te. So I took it. Everything. Everything. In your brown eye, brown eye. I walked away. I didn't really count how ma how many they are, but that was a big deal. Now I have this many hammer. Now it's black town. Even that time, even this moment, Kuro could give up Toryo. But this still tried to leave. But I said, no, you're dead. No, I want to leave. What's that? That wasn't that anything. No. I don't let you take my stones. Thank you. So here's a time of Yose. Making your territory stable. A certain. Yose is also an important part in the end of the game. This is dishonest, dishonest, okay. Ah, uh, that should work. Yeah, this was a big, big thing. There are many many more things that I can teach you but if you have no idea what how to play go by now I can't really teach you how You know, sometimes computer computer is stupid. Oh. I didn't I didn't want to lose this fighting, this core. Although I had already won this game.
This basically means pass. I pass my turn. So, okay, thank you. I said. It's uh, now, it's nearly end. He passed. So I put. It wasn't, in fact, finished though. I, he passed anyway. But he still again passed stupidly, so I took it. He passed. Okay, now it's finished. Okay, now it's finished. So what you need to do is put stones in unnecessary spaces but there's no unnecessary space so when it's finished you you and your opponent agree this is finished okay now it's finished since these all black stone is dead you need to take them first oh it doesn't oh it doesn't really matter because you will mess up it later So you need all dead stones. You take the all dead stones. Now it's clear this is my territory. These are the opponent's territory. And opponent only has this amount of hammer. But I, on the other hand, I can't even really show you, but full of my one hand and full of this hammer so what you need is fill up those spaces with what you took which means you use hammer now all kuro ji is filled and I still have this many stones now let's count but before that let's count my territory before let's use this hammer openness hammer of, of my okay so this time you use much multiplication multiplication so one two three four and four by five you make you can make twenty it needs you can transform basically into the territory unless may you make you mess up those lines so this is Niju but since this whole line is mine let's make it's troublesome okay. up to this point as I said is 10 so this means 50 like right 5 by 10 this way this way so it's 10 one kind of tricky way to make 10 bucks is to make 3 by 4 bucks and make 20, 12 G. Now it's 12. No, no, it's not 12. <laughs> yeah, now it's 12. And uh, substruct, sub, substruct, yeah, 2 is 10. 3 by 4 minus 2, 10. Yeah, there are those ways to make, make it easier to count like 2 by 5 you line it with your sense feeling 2 by 10 10 but let's make it 20 or even 30 but this is where it shows where you're skilled 
at making those box boxes. We can make it is a forty. He is forty. Okay. So Kukuga Nizu de Sho twenty. Twenty. Sixty, seventy, and fifty. So one hundred twenty minus two. So one hundred twenty minus two, one one hundred eighteen. But I still have this many. So what I'm gonna do is add this number. Okay, I've got thirty. Hammer. I've got 30 hammer in here. So 30 plus 118. So 148 is my G. And the opponent, Kuro side, black side, has zero. But since it is said the one that goes first has kind of advantage on over the one that goes after so from the beginning this opponent has 6.5 or 6 I mean 6 and half of my territory 6 and half why it's half is because when when the territory is even this means this makes difference so six and half but even though even if you put six it makes no difference I won by 142 but minus 0.5 or half one so I won by 140 1.5 yeah or 141 and half so thanks for watching it turned to be really 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 long video but yeah playing ego takes long time so of course it this time it took much much longer time because I was explaining yeah so but if you've watched this video from the beginning and the end thank you you are great I didn't even expect it it would take this long yeah that's it I'm tired but I did it if any of you are familiar with ego or if you are actually really good player of ego let's play it with me let's play some game I hope you find it enjoyable and I, ho I, ho I hope you enjoyed it I hope you find it Interesting, this Japanese table table game, board game. I hope you I hope you didn't get bored. Anyway, I hope. Thanks for watching. Really, really, thank you. But you didn't need to see this if you thought it would be boring. Anyway, good job if you watched it all through.